What's up, everybody? Hello. Welcome to another weekly Wednesday live stream with the MSI Insiders. I'm Peter. I'm Jachi. And today we're going to be talking about a new graphics card. Well, you've got, you see, we've got a whole lineup right here. Yeah, you um, can choose. Exactly. And uh, well, the new one today, of course, is the GTX 1650. Um, so I'll let you guys guess which one that is. I don't know how good the perspective is, but no, it's, it's the front one. Um, so I've got one here. Um, it's an engineering sample. I'm going to be showing it to you later on as well in more detail. Um, but first, uh, I want to highlight to you guys that we also have a very nice giveaway. So if you guys go, I'm just going to switch to this side because I know it's going to appear right there. Um, so indeed, so you can win a $20 Steam code, uh, which you can, of course, then spend on anything you want. Uh, you know, cosmetics, skins, whatever, or games. Yeah, no, there's uh, a lot of D stuff to You find. know, DLC. I, I know you guys love paid DLC. <laughs> I know I do. Um, but yeah, go to msi.com slash two slash insider and uh, go to the giveaway. Yeah. Ja will be uh, friendly enough to also post a direct link in the chat for you guys. Exactly. So if the link doesn't work for you, uh, yep. you can just go to the chat and there you will have a direct link to the giveaway. Yes. So it'll, he's going to type it in for you guys live right now. Uh, all right. So um, yeah, if you have any questions, uh, post them in the chat. And we will try to answer as many as possible. Um, and yeah, let's let's get going. By the way, some fun. little shout out. Hi, Power GPU. Hi, Gia Ninja. Everybody in the chat. Tawhid Hassan. Um, uh, actually, uh, uh, Tawhid Hassan is already saying something about which models we have. Oh, dude, you're not. You're not. not you know the, the the models you name, Armor and Duke. Yeah, they, we don't have them on the 1650, but. You will see in a few minutes. Mm. Yeah, but Don't at least, worry. At least he knows about it. We'll take you through it. Um, so, just before we start, what I've got right here is I've got my little friend, the 1650, right here in the front. I've got the 1660. And I've got the 1660 Ti. These two are quite difficult to keep apart because they are very, very similar. Uh, also, the thermal design is very similar. Um, and right here, I've got the bigger brother. This is the biggest Twin Frozer 7. We have, this is the 2070, RTX 2070. So those are the ones I've got here on the table. Yeah, it's quite a bit of difference in sizes, huh? Yeah, yeah, well, yes, but I mean, that all comes down to, to cooling, obviously. Yes, so, uh, delicious cooling. Yeah, I mean, the RTX card, especially 2070, you know, that one uses a lot more power than uh, the 1600 cards, um, especially the 1650, mm -hmm. which is, well, relatively low uh, power. The base uh, uh, power, draw is about 75 watts uh, our gaming however uh, can use up to 81 something like that so it's a little bit uh, higher more aggressively clocked as well um, that's also why it has for example an extra power connector right uh, at the top but i'll show you guys in more detail later so before we go into that let's um <laughs> hello momo hello yeah, i think we've been discovered ah uh, yeah yeah well yes we are dutch yeah I'm surprised that you think that I'm Dutch too. I mean, for him, like, I, I can understand Peter is Dutch, but... What was that supposed to mean? Nothing. No, I'm just <laughs> trying to not judge you. Dude, your, dude, um... you're, you're every bit as much Dutch as I am. Uh, maybe more even. <clears throat> I don't know. Anyway. Yeah. Um, nice observation. Yeah, but we're trying to hide it. I mean, yeah, it's, obviously, yeah. Yeah. we're trying to hide it as best we can for you guys. I mean, you guys are lucky that Eric's not here, right? Well, yeah, I mean, he, his English is, you know, kind of giving it away <laughs> sometimes. Just a bit, just a bit. Tiny bit. Tiny bit. Yeah. But let's get into uh, uh, the card itself. So, yeah, if you would switch to... Uh, yeah. I've prepared right. a, a few slides. Just so, a few. Yeah, this is, uh, you know, the, the, the visual that NVIDIA uh, uh, comes out with then. So it's, uh, you know, the 16 series, they call the new supercharger. Uh, and this is, of course, the GTX 1650, which is, at the moment, the lowest... Uh, the lowest end card basically in the series uh, the most entry level if you will so similar story to uh last to the 1660 and 660i so the the rtx cards had the uh the the turing sm so the turing uh, uh architecture basically and it combined it with dedicated ray tracing cores and tensor cores uh, and of course the 16 series all of the 16 series have basically the same thing it's they do have the Turing uh, architecture, but without the dedicated ray tracing cores and tensor cores. Uh, of course, the 1660i has a lot more CUDA cores than yeah. the 1650, for example. 
Uh, but the basic architecture is kind of the same. It's just scaling up and down. That's that's the general uh, idea. Now this really warms my heart. CJ Bale says, uh, says, you know, thank you very much for the streams and giveaways I've won before, which enabled me to get a couple of little games that Aww. I wanted. Nice. And I, you know, and he likes to learn new, about new information and new tech. So, well, you know, you're welcome, man. We're we happy did something that's... good. We're happy that you know it's at least uh, entertaining and also uh, exactly. you, you learn a little bit and you got a, a <coughs> few of the, the games you were wanting. I mean, that's something we all like, you know? We're all into yeah. the games. So keep on watching. Yep. Maybe today you win some more. Maybe, exactly. Yeah, who knows? Um, all right, so uh, we've got, uh, for the 1650, we've got three models. Um, so we've got the gaming, obviously, which is right here. Uh, we've got Ventus XS, which is uh, the smallest version of Ventus. And we've got the Aero ITX, and uh, of course the Aero ITX is the smallest card we have, so that's specifically developed to fit into small form factor uh, rigs, or yeah. you know HTPCs, media PCs, whatever you want to call it, couch gaming rigs. Yeah. So if you like uh, ITX builds, yeah, I know I know Mike is a big fan of that, by the way. Yep, <laughs> Mike's a big fan of that. Yeah, yeah he only goes ITX. I mean, I, I can understand like somewhere along the way, you know, it's kind of easy to carry around, you know, to your couch yeah, or going yeah. to some LAN party, going to your friends, so yeah. Also, if you want to fit it into your into your living room, you know, that's why a lot of people like the consoles, because they're a little bit, you know, they're not like the big huge cases that you have like in the, in the center of your room. And also, they usually don't make that much noise, so uh, if they have a good thermal design, that is. But, you know, so yeah, I, I can see the appeal. But for me, it's always been, you know, it's, I don't care about the size. I've got a dedicated room, like a man cave or whatever you want to call it. Oh, you do? I, yeah, of course. I, I, I just claim the room oh, and then, uh, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so so for me personally, I, I don't really mind it. So I also don't mind if a card is, is, is relatively big, but I, you know, I, I see a lot of people saying, yeah, you know, the smaller card, because I want to do a smaller build. So that's uh, that's pretty cool as well. 1650 Ti is, is kind of ideal for that as well, because it has the lower power draw, which enables you to make a, a smaller card. It doesn't require that big of a cooling solution. So yeah, some advantages there, definitely. And somebody's getting curious about a 1650 Ti, if that's possible in the future. I have no idea. I mean, I have to tell you, I've, I've been reading the rumors as well. Um, and, and the thing is, we don't get that much information from Nvidia either, uh, or, or AMD for that matter. But yeah. um, so probably, like maybe a, if it comes at all, it, it'll only be a few weeks before the launch that we might get some information and then only a few days before. Like this time, if you guys saw the media reviews for the 1650, yeah, it wasn't best though. Well, I mean, the thing is, normally they uh, the media will get the samples a few weeks before the launch, or maybe a few days at least, right? So they can do all the testing and they they can have all the the, the details and and the performance benchmarking done before the launch date, so that when the product launches, all the reviews go online at the same time. This time though, for some reason. Uh, there was no driver, so the products were actually available. We also, we had this sample here, which is an engineering sample. We had this here for a couple of weeks already, but we couldn't do anything with it because we didn't have any drivers. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's it was unusual, um, but we also had to wait. So basically, we had to wait until yesterday, where then we could also just download the drivers that everybody could download from, from yep. the NVIDIA uh, experience, GeForce Experience platform. They really kept and it, it to worked. themselves. Well, I mean, so, it's it's a choice. I don't know. Uh, th th there must be a reason for it. Um, but you know, that's uh, in some cases you guys might think, well, you know, you guys get all the information, you get to test the products way before. You know, not always. I mean, sometimes, yeah. But uh, especially with the 1650, for example, we didn't. We we had to wait until all you guys could get it as well. Some good times and bad times. Yeah, well, it keeps it interesting. Let's just put it that way. And we have a console peasant in the chat right here. Oh, well, you know, <laughs> gamer is a gamer in my book. Yeah, I also have PlayStation 4. There you go. Peasant. So, yeah. <laughs> I, I have a PlayStation 1 in my home, and it still works. Wait. Like the first generation PlayStation. Yeah, I'm that Wait. old. I'm that old, oh, I know. Yeah. I only have a 2. I mean, that's already going way back in time. Oh, you know nothing, Jon Snow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the good times we had. All right, so let's get back to the overview, guys. Um, so we have three models. Um, if you want to know more about these models, I can maybe go back into uh, detail because I only have the gaming sample here. So I don't have the uh, the Ventus or the Aero ITX, but I can show you some more close-up pictures. 
uh, on the website. Uh, actually, maybe let's go do that now. Uh, let's see, because I had the products open. Yeah, and there you have it. Yeah, so this is uh, the Ventus. Uh, but as you can see, the big difference is the gaming has um, an extra 6-pin power connector. Um, actually, I don't think you can see it right here, but yeah, at the top. So here you can see it, basically. Uh, which enables it to you know, have a, a higher TDP. It's higher than the standard uh, 75 watts uh, that it can draw through the PCIe socket um, of the motherboard. But for example, the Ventus doesn't have it. So here you have a picture of the Ventus. There is no additional PCIe power connector uh, needed and located there. So it will uh, conform to the 75 watts of power, uh, which also means that it has a little bit less uh, performance than the gaming. And the Aero ITX, uh, similar story, it's even a little bit shorter, but there as well, no extra power connector needed. So basically all you have to do is just put it into your motherboard and then it should work with these cards, it except just, for the gaming. It just works, huh? It just works, yeah. And yes, Keenan, we do read it. So uh, any question you might have or something, some opinions, was... just post it in the chat, you know, we'll, we'll keep track of it. We do read it. Yeah. yeah. So hey to you too. <laughs> you may get some stuff, but I... I think many understand that a lot of what you can do is down to NVIDIA and AMD. Well, yeah, I mean, you know, they are, uh, th they create the chips yep. and they, you know, have a lot of uh, control over what happens because it's their product, you know, and yep. they want to make sure that whatever, for example, you can kind of understand it to a degree where if they would, you know, let everybody do whatever they want, that could also mean that some of them would do a horrible job and, and make a horrible product, which would give NVIDIA or AMD a bad name in the process, you know, and so you can understand that they want to ensure that whenever their uh, GPU, uh, you know, their, their products are used in a graphics card, for example, that you have a good experience. Um, so yeah, it, it does kind of make sense. But, you know, sometimes it can get in the way and, you know, we also, we're also just waiting for drivers and stuff. Because don't forget, we are enthusiasts just like you guys and we're gamers just like you guys. So we are, you know, nerding out as much as you guys yeah sometimes even on the low-end products because just because we want to see okay so what can they do with uh you know as, as efficient as possible for example um or we're just curious about what can this new product do so yeah we are very eagerly awaiting uh, usually when the it's real happens. hardware nerds yeah i mean well you have to be right you have yeah. to be to be in this business so uh right uh, so that's the overview um all right then let's talk performance a little bit 1650 so 1080p, I think that's that's kind of where you want to go with this card, uh, but even 1080p, uh, when you go uh, everything on ultra settings, you know, all out, this is a, a test uh, that we, a test result from PC Gamer, uh, they did a lot of work, I think it was a 13 game average, uh, if you want to know more about which games they tested exactly and per game you want to see the results, I know Fortnite is in there, I already saw some people asking about that, uh, but yeah, there you can find per game uh, how the uh, cards uh, perform. Uh, but on average, you know, even uh, 1080p Ultra, you don't really get to the 60 FPS on average. Sure, there will be some games yeah. that you will reach it, but most games, nah. Yeah. And preferably, you will want to have a 60 FPS experience, right? Yeah, yeah. So for that, I mean, there, you, according to this graph, to their data, you will have to get at least an, an RX 580 or a 1060 6 gig, or you know, 1660 is already fine. 1660 Ti is also really good, so. You know, either one of those, you're, you're golden for 1080p, definitely, ultra. Um, and I mean, for, for, for giggles, we included this one as well, you know, 4040p, WQHD. Um, yeah, you don't want to do that with this card. It's, it's not built for that, uh, for that kind of resolution, and you can see it in the results. You know, on average, it, it just averages above 30 FPS. Not, a, not what we can consider a, a smooth gaming experience. So, yeah. um, and talking about exp uh, performance, you know, somebody is asking in the chat if this card is any good for video editing. So I think here, you know, it's important for for people to understand, maybe get a grasp of, you know, hey, if you want to do video yeah. editing, it's not per se that the video card is doing all the heavy lifting. You know, it comes down to your CPU and yeah. the combination with the RAM. So they will be doing the heavy lifting. But if you want to go to 3D rendering and stuff, then we're talking about a different story. Yeah, yeah, that's where the CUDA cores and the calculations come into exactly. place. Exactly. So but if I you think for video rendering especially. I think the the memory, so RAM, yeah. memory, Very DDR4, and and uh, not just fast, but also a lot of it, because especially you know when you want to, you want to render uh, previews in real time, for example, 
That means that you know if you're rendering stuff at 4K resolution, that means that there's a lot of data that needs to be stored and, and needs to be accessible instantly. So there, you need a hell of a lot of RAM memory there. Yeah. So for your graphics card, I actually think for, for video editing, yeah. Uh, also, important. mostly I think uh, having a lot of video memory is also a good thing. So for that, I would say maybe the 1650 is also not the best choice because it, it only has uh, four gigs of, uh, of VRAM. But uh, yeah, it really depends on, uh, on what your program, uh, you know, what you use and, and how, you, how you use it. Because I think you can choose actually if you want to render it, if you want to make it render on the, on the GPU or on the CPU. So on some, uh, some occasions. So yeah, it depends. Somebody finally asked the golden question, of course. The and price. Which, which is? Oh, uh, the we price. the price. Well, I mean, officially, I think the price point was, what, one, <clears throat> 140 $140, something like that. So, again, you know, it depends mm -hmm. in your country. It even can depend per, per retailer. Yeah. But, I mean, on average, so should be like around... Nvidia's introduction price, right? Yeah, should be and about $140, 130-ish euros, something like that. Yeah. Ish. But again... You need to check your uh, local prices, uh, your, your online e-tailers or something like that. That's the best indication always. Because, you know, we can give you a price. can be that in your country is completely different. It depends on, on uh, taxes as well. So, um, yeah. Many barriers. All right. Um, yeah, I mean, the chat is uh, quite enthusiastic, I think. 47.8 on Ultra. I mean, CJ Bale is, is, has a good point, you know. Yeah. So almost 50 FPS on Ultra on uh, 1080p for a budget GPU, which it is entry level. Let's, let's be honest about that. Uh, isn't bad at all uh, for the money. Um, the thing is, you know, we always generally uh, want to go for a, a 60 FPS experience on average. Yeah. And, you know, again, for 4040p, like we're looking at right now, this is ultra, right? So if you if you tune it down to medium graphics, maybe you'll have a better result. You, you probably yeah. will get up to like 60-ish <laughs> in most games. So you can still do it, but, you know, it will struggle. Um, and, and, I mean, the ultra is where it's at. You know, you want that, that visual goodness, you know, that eye candy. So, uh, yeah, for, for 1080p, if, if you're willing to go to medium, for example, the, the picture is completely different already. So you can get up to about 80 FPS, uh, which... I, I agree with uh, CJ Bale. It's pretty nice. Um, so so that's definitely a good thing. Um, but if you, and I think this is the big thing, uh, and I've seen some people mention it in the chat as well, if you compare it to the, uh, the, the AMD RX 570, for example, uh, I mean, on, on average, uh, the 570 is indeed a bit faster, uh, according to the results. But I have seen some examples, and this could be like a bit of a fluke or something, but I remember, for example, Fortnite. Actually, the, the 1650 was, I believe, just slightly faster. Yeah, I think it was the same case with uh, Apex, Apex Legends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it might be that NVIDIA made sure that in some of the hottest titles right now, you know, that they optimized more for that. Maybe in the future they will be able to optimize a little bit more for other games as well for yeah. 1650 performance. We don't know. Uh, we can only look at the, the performance numbers that we've seen right now. Um, so yeah, I mean, and considering uh, that the results you get right now, it's actually not that bad. Um, so yeah, no, for this price range, no, definitely. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm pretty pretty happy about it. Um, then some other things. So uh, we're gonna look into the card a little bit more in a minute, uh, technically and and you know some details. Uh, before we do that, however. Um, a couple of streams ago, we uh, told you guys about that NVIDIA was uh, going to enable ray tracing on GTX cards. You know, it's basically software-based ray tracing, right? Uh, so ray, ray tracing without the dedicated ray tracing cores on the RTX cards. Um, so we wanted to, we saw a, an article about this a while back, uh, or actually earlier this week, I think, because some, some uh, media platform tested it. Uh, and we thought the results were very interesting, so we wanted to give you a bit of an update on this. So before we go into that, uh, this basically means that, uh, you know, the any GTX 10 series cards, I believe, would be able to, and also the 16 series cards, would be able to do ray tracing. Uh, but obviously, probably not as well as the cards with the dedicated ray tracing cores. And the, the reason for that is what you can see here. 
so the Pascal, which is the 10 series cards, would basically have to do one thing after another. They cannot do multiple things at the same time, the calculations. So that's why the timeline is that extended to, to render a single frame, uh, in this case in, in uh, Metro Exodus. The Turing cards could already do uh, concurrent integer and floating point calculations. So they, they will be able to do uh, those things at the same time, which makes the time frame already a lot shorter to render a single frame. And then, of course, you have the Turing RTX card with a dedicated ray tracing and uh, um, DLSS or, you know, the tensor cores. So those things can do a lot more at the same time. And especially the, the green part you see in the timeline uh, right there uh, in the bottom uh, in the bottom version. Uh, there you can see really the effect of the, ray, the dedicated ray tracing cores, which shortens the cycle considerably. Um, so what that means uh, in terms of real-term performance, uh, we've chosen one example for you guys. So as you can see, it was Tweakers uh, that did a test recently. Uh, they've got they tested a whole lot of games. We just wanted to give you one example, uh, which we thought uh, you know illustrated nicely what what you can expect right now. So uh, 1080p Ultra and then uh, ray tracing on. You know, so everything has ray tracing on in this in this case. So as you can see, uh, with the 2080, uh, of course, you know, you get over 80 FPS. 2070, very close actually, probably because it's only 1080p. Uh, if you go to uh, higher resolution, you might get a little bit more of a difference there. Um, 2060 is still pretty nice, you know, above 70 FPS on average. But only uh, after the 2060, when you enable ray tracing on the GTX 10 series, you get the 2080, uh, sorry, the 1080 Ti. That's quite shocking. Huh? Yeah, yeah. So that's a big difference, and that's wh again where I think the uh, the difference comes into into play with the dedicated ray tracing cores. Yeah, um, we can see that. Yeah. So the the 1080 Ti, you can still get over you know, around 70 FPS, maybe uh, or, or near that. Um, the 1080 already uh, jumps down to about 55 FPS. Uh, 1070 Ti to 50, you know, and there you can go see it going down from there. Uh, it's nice to see though that the 1660, so the 16 series, already starts to um, hold its own quite well. Yeah. In between the 1070 Ti and the 1070, so actually quite close performance to the 1070 uh, in terms of ray tracing, which again I think is down to the uh, uh, the Turing architecture that can do floating point and integer calculations at the same time, so it helps. <coughs> So are we aware of uh, what PC Gamer actually used for CPU in the previous uh, tests? Good question. Uh, uh, I'm sure they listed it somewhere. Uh, I just didn't include it. So if you want to know that, go over to PCGamer.com uh, and look at their uh, review of the 1650, uh, which includes all these benchmarks. And I'm pretty sure that they listed the full system that they used there. So you will see which motherboard, which CPU, which RAM memory, which storage drive, maybe even so. Um, yeah, you'll be able to find. Uh, and I see uh, AK no, not Ace or AKA not Ace. Um, you will find Fortnite uh, on that site as well. They That's one of the 13 titles that they uh, tested, if I'm correct. So you will be able to see the 1650 performance in Fortnite as well. And I, as I remember, it, I think in Fortnite and uh, as you said, Ja in Apex, I think it did pretty pretty well. So that's uh, very smart thinking of NVIDIA. Well, you know, you need to, uh, priorities. And those are some of the hottest titles right now. So I, I, I really can't blame Wait, them. So Fortnite is still a hot title? Uh, yeah, I mean, maybe not for you. Mm. I, I know I don't play it that much, but, you know, I can still see a hell of a lot of people playing it. And, you know, I played it a couple of times. It's pretty fun, but it's not my cup of tea. I can't understand. Yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah, so uh, like I said, guys, those were the slides. So I kept it short for you guys. Um, let's switch back to uh, the main cam. There we go. Uh, just want to remind you guys that we have a giveaway. So please go to msi.com slash two slash insider right there. Or click the link that Ja will put in the chat um, to go directly to the giveaway. And yeah, participate. You get a, can win a twenty dollars Steam code. Um, I don't know. Maybe it's already time to draw the first winner. What do you I think? I think it's an excellent idea. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's see if we can make more people happy. So, do you guys agree? The first winner of today. Yeah, let's just do it. Um, I also see Madman Moon. That's a nice name, Madman Moon. Uh, what's the most beefed up gaming laptop right now? I was zeroing in on one, and now I'm lost. Um. Well, I think, to be honest, um, it's it's one of the MSI ones. Let me just quickly uh, cheat my way to that. 
Uh, but if I'm correct, you can always check on our website. Uh, and there the GT series are the most beefed up ones that we have. And yes, it's the, uh, I believe the GT75 Titan. It has a 9th gen Intel core processor. Uh, let me just quickly see if I can get a bit more detailed spec for you. Uh, and an RTX 20 series graphics card in there as well. So that already sounds like pretty jacked up to me. Uh, let's see, the top one has an i9 processor in there. So there you go. That's the highest one right there. Uh, it also has a 144 hertz IPS panel. Pretty freaking sweet. Or you can choose a uh, 4K panel. So it's also really nice. And uh, from what I can see right now, it goes up to a uh, RTX 2080 graphics card in there. Just having a little bit of difficulty with uh, That's all right. the drawing. It's getting really intense. Woo! Yep, just select one. All right, let the system do its work. Hmm, interesting. It's not working yet? Oh, here we go. Okay, we have it. Just need a little bit of a refresh. There we go. So, who so is our next, who is our uh, first winner today? Robert Ayers. Robert Ayers. Surprisingly easy name. Congratulations. <clears throat> you win a $20 Steam code, so we'll uh, get that out to you as soon as possible after the stream. Uh, congratulations, and uh, we hope you do something fun with it. Exactly. So, have fun. Yes. All right. So um, let's uh, let's dive into uh, the gaming card just a little bit, and I'll highlight a few of the uh, top features for you. Uh, maybe we can go to the closer view. There we go. Yep. Uh, so here it is. Um, well, it looks quite familiar, right? Uh, Twin Force or Seven uh, with the uh, dual Torx 3.0 fans. 3.0 is uh, categorized, or well, can be recognized easily by the uh, little uh, trims on uh, on. Uh, the traditional fan blades. So there's two shapes of fan blades, obviously, in the Torx fan, uh, which helps to keep the card extra cool uh, while also providing uh, extra airflow, but also keeps it silent uh, by reducing the uh, turbulence caused by the airflow. Um, well, as I mentioned, at the, uh, at the top here, there's an extra 6-pin uh, PCIe power connector. So that's uh, where it differs from all our other or our two other models of 1650, which don't, don't have this connector, so don't, they don't require extra power. But it does uh, allow this piece to uh, get a bit more headroom uh, in terms of wattage and usage. Um, this is an uh, engineering sample, as I said. Uh, one of the things you can see it by is because of the color of the heat pipe right here. This is a bit of a coppery color. Mm. This also reminds me kind of of uh, the old school uh, graphics card. How so? Because I've seen a few, you know, also just having this copper look yeah. incorporated in their yeah. uh, GPU design. Nowadays, it's more, you know, tightly, timely up, you know, very yeah. if you, if nice you can, and fitting. If you want to compare it to this one, this is a 1660. Mm. And you yeah. can see it's, it's all nice and silvery. And actually, um, the reason why we uh, do the silver is actually for uh, aesthetics purposes. And maybe a little bit, you know, protection for, for <laughs> you know, oxidization and stuff like that. Uh, because actually, it, uh, it it would be cheaper to actually do it just like this. But this is a bit more, uh, like, unprotected. So uh, the, the extra layer of protection is not just for, uh, you know, to make it look prettier. It's also to, to protect the uh, the metal a little bit more from, from yeah, unwanted effects, let's just say. You have to treat it. Uh, but for our engineering samples, you know, they usually just need to be done as soon as possible so they don't bother with that effect. Um, but yeah, so we actually spend, um, you know, money and, and, and make extra costs to make the, the heat pipes look a bit more like that. I'm not sure if you guys knew yeah. that, but... Yeah. Well, the more you know. Yeah. Um, so that's one of the things. And also, uh, while well, some of the fans, I'm not sure if maybe you guys see it, but some of the fins in the heat sink, I believe on this side yeah, it's yeah, a little, little bit fence. bent yeah. it's a little bit bent and that's also you know the, the the our engineering samples are usually a case of more like quick and dirty let's put everything together so that we can test it uh, and and you know a good enough thing um but yeah it's not uh, it's not like uh, the thing you will find in the box luckily um looking at the rest i mean it doesn't have a backplate uh, i also know that the uh 
the finished product also that you will find in the box also has no backplate. Uh, that's also because you know we didn't want to raise the cost too much, and adding a backplate can easily add a couple of dollars or euros to the total cost price. So you know for this model we didn't really think it would make sense to do that. Uh, we did, however, for you guys print a little nice <laughs> dragon on the PCB. So you know to make up for the fact that it doesn't have a backplate. Um, Work for me. Yeah, 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 yeah. So other than that, uh, you know, pretty uh, standard stuff in terms of uh, the gaming card. Um, also, I think uh, good to know is the I.O. ports. There you go. So the gaming actually has uh, two display ports and one HDMI. Um, but, and let me just quickly check to confirm, because I think our Ventus for example has yeah you can maybe switch to the yep. uh, capture here so this is the ventus card by the way um so here you can see the ventus xs and as you can see it has three different uh display outputs so one hdmi one display port and one dvi and i think if i'm correct the arrow itx has the same yes so the arrow itx and the ventus xs both have three unique uh different display outputs so be aware of that if, you, if you're considering one of these cards uh, and you want to run a multi-monitor setup, for example, uh, you need to keep that in mind a little bit. So uh, with the gaming card, it might be a little bit easier because you've got at least you know, two display ports there. Quite easy to do uh, a dual display. Uh, but you know, mixing these three together, uh, a display port, HDMI and DVI, yeah, it might be a little bit more tricky to ha make sure all your monitors support these, uh, these outputs. Um, then again, I don't really know if you want to run um, if you want to run multi-monitor like a three-monitor display setup with uh, a 1650 because in games, obviously, I don't think it will uh, it will get you that much FPS. Um, all right. Then let's see what else did I want to point out. I had another thing. Uh, what was it? Well, these cards are very light, I have to say. By the way, if you guys have any specific questions, let me know. Then I can also uh, give you a close-up view uh, as, as good as possible. I do believe that these cards also have zero frother, which means that, of course, that the fans will stop spinning uh, below a certain temperature. And trust me, this card, especially with this cooler, <laughs> um, does, it, it struggles to reach 60 degrees, uh, even if you push it. So, yeah, I mean, you know, it's, it's a very efficient GPU. Um, so it really doesn't require that much of a, a big... Uh, thermal solution, which is really nice. Uh, oh yeah, that's now I remember what I wanted to highlight. So uh, most of these cards have a very nice RGB effect. You know, uh, they, they've got it uh, in between the uh, the, the uh, shroud, as we call it. So uh, in between here, for example, and also on the sides, right? Yeah. So with this card, also uh, with a little bit of the the price in mind, you know, we didn't want to make it too ridiculously expensive for you guys. So uh, we decided to not do the RGB on this card. Uh, and also, there's no RGB uh, in, the, in the shroud itself, uh, as it would be on the other cards. Uh, there's only uh, just a white LED on the side, you know, so it, it still, so has still has a little bit. Light. Yeah, it still has a little bit of LED there, uh, but it's only uh, one color. Uh, it, you can still do animated effects with it, you know, through our Mystic Light software, no problem, uh, but it's not RGB. So, you know, again, this was just to make sure that uh, we, we don't raise the cost too much, because... Again, you know, we can add so much stuff onto this card, but that would, in the end, you know, a backplate and RGB everywhere and whatever, you know, all the crazy stuff you can you can come up with. Uh, in the end, you will have a card that's like what fifty euro, fifty dollars, fifty euros more expensive. I mean, come on, you have to be realistic a little bit. Yeah, for this price range for this card, what it's meant for, you know, this is perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, King Castiel is asking, what temperature on average does a 1660 Ti reach? Uh, that's a very good question. Um, if I remember correctly, it should be just around like 70 degrees if you're if you're gaming. Uh, again, it also depends on your fan profile, but I think, you know, 70 degrees, somewhere in the 70s, even if you're pushing it. Uh, because the, even the 6060 Ti doesn't use that much power. I've got it right here. Um, and it still has a really beefy heatsink uh, for, for the processor. So as you can see... Um, it's like, it's just slightly, it's, it's like two slots, basically. It's like two slots. But if you compare that to something like the 1650, um, let's see how, how best to do this. Make an old one. Maybe with the sides here. So here you can see that the 1650 is like, well, pretty much one and a half slots or something like that. You know? It doesn't it's even utilize the full two slots. You can see that, especially because this bracket right here, this is two slots. 
And as you can see, the cooler doesn't use the, the full height of the bracket. Whereas the 1660 Ti, it does. Uh, it, it actually, with the, especially the shroud, uh, because of the shape, you know, it's a little bit of a, an upward standing shape right here, the plastic. Yeah, but if it, if it didn't have that, it would be perfectly, you know, within two slots. Uh, but it has a bit more of a beefy power uh, uh, thermal design, I should say. Yeah. So there you go. Somebody's asking if you can compare it to the RX 580. <laughs> well, how do you want it to be compared? Because I, yeah. you know, we already showed you some benchmarks. Um, and it was in the list. Yeah, it was in the list there. So uh, in terms of uh, performance, game performance, uh, we already uh, showed you um, uh, how it performs. Um, but yeah, feel feel free after the stream to look it up. Um, we did compare it, yeah. What was the point of dropping the 16 series? What was the point of dropping the 16 series? Be honest. Um, I, I don't know. I mean, I, here's the thing. NVIDIA created the 16 series, um, so you'd have to ask them. Uh, but, you know... Yeah. So they maybe probably felt the need to fill some gaps. That. And also, you know, the 20 series, when it came out, it was a hell of a lot more expensive because of the new technology, mm. because of the yeah. dedicated ray tracing course. You know, it was a hell of a lot more expensive than the previous, than the 10 series generation, than what everybody was used to. So... For me, it, it in the end, it made sense that they didn't just want to, you know, have all the, the high-end users. Uh, so for me, I think it was also to have something available in a bit more, you know, affordable uh, regions. So that for me, I think it is. But again, you would have to ask NVIDIA. Um, they made the GPUs. Yeah, everything that we say, it's just speculations. Yeah, yeah. Here's the thing, you know, they create the GPU and then we decide, do we want to make cards out of it and basically almost always it's a yes there are some examples that we we uh don't do it uh but that's then mostly down to practical things like either we we think that we, we there's no value that we can add to it um so you know we can only up the price but there's no real advantage to having a custom version um or for example if there is so little um gpu stock you know if, if they cannot deliver enough gpus uh we've seen this in the past unfortunately with uh, amd with uh, vega I think everybody was very hyped for it, uh, but in the end, we we didn't create uh, any. Maybe we created one or two custom cards in the end, but that was very uh, you know way way after uh, it got launched and introduced. Because at introduction, the number of GPUs that was available was actually so low that we even if we made a custom version, one well we saw it on other uh, competitor products as well. It was like nearly identical performance mm -hmm. to uh, the the. The, the reference version from AMD. So there wasn't really any value you could add there, no extra performance, there was no real headroom there. Um, but also the number of GPUs that uh, was available was so low that it really didn't make sense uh, to create a custom model. So, you know, that's the honest answer. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, what do we think about the cards? I mean, for what's meant for, that's an excellent card. Yeah, I mean, value. again, you know, it, it does what it's supposed to do, and it fills a gap indeed. And exactly. uh, I mean, I, I wouldn't be surprised um, if there would be what somebody mentioned, a 1650 Ti. There was a 15, uh, sorry, a 1050 Ti. So, you know, it, it stands to reason that NVIDIA tends to follow a certain pattern as well. Doesn't always do it because, you know, last generation we had a, a 1070 Ti. We don't have a 2070 Ti. So it depends. Uh, I don't know what they're planning. We'll have to see. Um, and what do, we, what do we think about AMD Navi cards? <laughs> uh, we'll have to see. I, I yeah. don't know anything about them. Um, I mean, the, you know, at the moment, it's just rumors and rumors and rumors, right? Yeah, so yeah. Th there's nothing And we're very concrete. interested in it, but that's more of, of a standpoint that, you know, we are a big fan of uh, big performance and, and technology developments, innovations. So we always are, uh, uh, you know, on the lookout for that and, and a very big fan of it, like everybody in the industry. Um, so we'll have to see what happens. I mean, again, you know, when uh, when they want us to know something about it, they will present it. Um, that's how, usually how it works. And that, that's also the point at which we find out more about it. So probably you're going to know as fast as we are going to know about it. So uh, we also already said this, but uh, unfortunately, I don't know thing one wasn't here yet. But yeah, uh, yeah we're not sure about the 1650 Ti. No. So that's entirely up to NVIDIA and when, yeah. if they want to announce we'll to and see. do it. I mean, we also yeah. saw some some leaks that apparently some, uh, uh, I think, uh, other vendors uh, already registered names uh, for, for a potential 1650 Ti. 
this doesn't mean that there will be a model like that because if I'm correct, I remember that either it was 1660 or 1660 mm -hmm. Ti, there were also a hell of a lot of models and, and like marketing names for models being registered for different memory versions and you know, th three gigs, six gigs, you know, things like that. But there never was a three gig version. So again, you know, I, I really don't know if we if we should you know take that as oh it's gonna be there and uh, this is gonna happen it can but we'll have to wait and see guys yep <clears throat> hi fake <laughs> what up um okay so uh let's see should we uh, highlight the giveaway again all right it's uh it's about that time way. again it's about that time again so guys, we have a, a giveaway today with uh, $20 Steam codes that you can win. Uh, you go to msi.com slash two slash insider to win. Uh, there you have to register uh, and I think you have to uh, like and subscribe yeah, you have, our you channels. Did, there are a few uh, actions for you to perform yep. there. So and the more yep. actions you do perform, yep. the higher your chances exactly. at winning. And if you're already so. subscribed to us, then your entry is going to be easy peasy because you don't have to do it again. Yeah, and in case the link doesn't work for you guys, I'll just post them directly in the chat. So just go to the chat and you can go to the link directly. Yeah. Link. So just go to here if it doesn't work and voila. <laughs> Jao will put the link in the chat for you guys. Uh, Jabad Lamari, right back at you, man. We love you as well. Oh, you can't see that because the visual was there, but there we go. Some real love right there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go. Um, all right, so... Um, Maybe it's uh, it's time for the second half as well. Let's see if I can uh, let's see if I can screw this up. Because <laughs> what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna. You see what he did there? <sighs> Usually if that's my. If job. you're a follower of the of the stream, you'll you'll know that Ja has a, a thing with screws, <sighs> and especially losing them. Yeah. Uh, you know, I've been thinking. You know, in the future, I might just keep a piece of magnet. You know, in my uh, in my pocket and just. You know. <laughs> or a special place to keep them. Yeah. 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 The screws, man, they're little devils. You, know, they, you just can't control it. Once yeah. they fall fall off somewhere, it's just like there's been a black hole, you know? The, the black hole just stuck it in and it's nowhere to be found. <laughs> awesome. Nice. All right, so um, let me close this up because I'm going to get rid of my laptop here because we don't need it anymore. Getting exciting, today. boys. Yeah, yeah. All right, did so... I just, did I just hear Liu John? Uh, all right, so what I'm going to do here for you guys is uh, we're going to build... The 1650 into this PC. Um, Jar can probably show you in a minute the uh, the full specs. Uh, maybe I could take you through it as well. I don't know if we have a. Yeah. Well, later we can. Uh, show okay. Yeah, the full yeah, specs. Yeah, yeah. All right. So it's in, embedded in the uh, capture slide. Anyway, um, I can uh, I can show you a little bit. So this is our uh, vampiric case, uh, which hey. is a really nice case as well. There's some RGB in here, as you will see when once we turn it on. Um, very easy to maintain as well. It's got things like this magnet uh, dust filter right here at the top. Um, but also yep. building something in, you know, easy peasy. And it's a smaller case, but there's a surprising amount of space in here anyway. Yeah, and uh, don't make it dirty because Mike is going to get mad. Hey, I'm uh, trying to not get too many fingerprints on it, but I can't guarantee anything. <laughs> um, so what we've got in here, we've got uh, an X470 uh, motherboard. Uh, I think this is the uh, Gaming Pro Carbon AC, uh, though we're not using the AC part today. AC stands for the wireless, of course, uh, but we're going to go for wired all the way at the moment. Um, we've got an AMD Wraith cooler on here, so that kind of gives it away that we've also got a, I think it was a Ryzen 5, right? Yeah, Ryzen 5, yeah. Ryzen 5 in here. Uh, the, the exact model we'll have later on in a slide. Um, other important things to note is uh, we've got, I believe, 16 gigs of uh, DDR4, uh, HyperX Fury. We've got um, M.2 drives, two actually, one for the Windows and one for the games, obviously. Yeah, I mean, Gotta if you it. guys haven't tried it yet, you have to try it. The speed, you know, compa yeah. even compared to the SSD. Is yes, especially with big files, big loading. Oh, yeah. You know, somebody asked about uh, uh, video editing before and if mm -hmm. a graphics card is fit for it. Uh, I, honestly, I think if, you, uh, if you're working, and this could very well be because these are big files uh, usually for video editing, but if you're working from a uh, hard disk drive, uh, like a normal hard disk drive for the big uh, drive size, uh, and you switch to an M.2, man, that's going to give you such a big performance boost. You know, that's the biggest boost you can, uh, you can have. You guys ignoring YouTube chat? <laughs> no, we're not IM Box. You know, we would never do that to you. No. 
<laughs> Send a prize to Captain Cookie, Vic Shaw says. Ah, I, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. He'll have to get lucky. Well, is he going to get lucky? Is this lucky ATX or, or Mitro a a ATX? Um, so, I don't know how to pronounce his name, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have a stab at it. Uh, Q4 Ito 1. Can you yeah, make anything like else that. out of it? I mean, generally, when you use the 4, it can be pronounced as an A, but the A wouldn't make any sense in no. here, so I guess it's just Q4 Kueto, uh, yeah, whatever. Yeah, anyway, he's asking, is this an ATX or micro ATX? Okay, so it uh, depends. Uh, if you're talking about the case, uh, it's ATX. If you're talking about the motherboard, uh, I believe it's also uh, ATX or yeah. MATX, maybe even. Uh, and if you're talking about the graphics card, it's uh, normal size. It's not the ITX card. Yeah, so, so nothing micro ATX is uh, right now present. Hi, Tim. Long time no see as well, but uh, happy to see you watching again. Uh, what's the main prize? The main prize is a Steam code today. Yeah. Actually, multiple Steam codes. <clears throat> I bet you guys thought you were going to win one of those uh, these graphics cards. Yeah, but, uh, unfortunately, not today. Not unfortunately today. we're not going to give those away. Um, Mostly because we, we've done this in the past, and it's quite it, a hassle, huh? it, it's surprising how many messages you get back saying, "Oh yeah, well I moved, so can you send it to my new address?" Um, and actually, in the end, the costs, just like the sheer logistics cost of sending one of these cards out to you guys, is probably even more expensive than the cost of the card itself. So it it kind of defeats the purpose of the prize. So that's why we're sticking more to uh, prizes that we can just send you. Uh, through the mail so digital prices yeah. like game keys steam codes and maybe hey who knows maybe in the future you can just download your graphics card no uh, oh okay so q k u4 eto it's slavic so that's why you can't read it well <clears throat> sorry sorry my dude um so maybe you can I, I would love to learn yeah maybe you can just, just write, write how you how, how you is, yeah. exactly how you pronounce it just write it out we'll, we'll have another stab at it blow us away <laughs> He's going to write something like Katrina or something. Ah, there you go. Okay, so I am Box says, uh, only saying no links are showing in the YouTube chat, so I had to get creative for the viewers to see it. Uh, yeah, I oh. mean, YouTube uh, sometimes blocks uh, links in the chat, or maybe always, I don't know. Um, so All right, then, uh, while you guys are uh, let me try it again for YouTube, so let's see if, uh, if I can get it there. Yeah, makes total sense, says Brian. Okay, so um, other than that, uh, I'm just going to go and uh, build the card in, so you guys can see it. Uh, see if I can do it without uh, damaging too much stuff. Also, uh, I'm just going to remove these cards here because you know um, we don't know that we don't need them for this stream. We're going to need them for other streams though, so I'm going to take real good care of them. It doesn't matter if you don't need them. I'm always here to have them. Oh, I know, I know. You're happy to adopt them. Oh hell yes! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so I've got my screws and my trusty screwdriver so that's basically all you need usually if you're upgrading your case probably there will be a graphics card in here already preferably always take the slot closest to the gpu or sorry to the cpu to the processor so in this case uh, i will be using this pcie slot um, and of course you need to make sure uh, with the gaming card because i, I mentioned it had uh, an extra uh, power connector so make sure you've got that already available. Because trust me, when you have a, the graphics card installed and then you find out you have to get one of these out from the back, you know, or somewhere in your cable management, uh, that's not a fun time. So make sure you do this uh, before you uh, get started and install the graphics card. So normally what you do is you take the graphics card out. You do that by uh, at the back, there's usually a couple of screws holding it in place. Unscrew those um, and then uh, you just basically press down on the lip at the end of the uh, graphics card uh, after, of course, disconnecting any PCIe power cables that are uh, attached. Uh, press the lip down and then uh, the graphics card should lift free and you should be able to just pull it out without using any force. If you find yourself having to use excessive force where you get the idea that your motherboard might be breaking, uh, you might want to check again uh, before you actually break something. So, oh, well, guys, uh, I think it was right. Somebody, somebody mentioned the YouTube chat. I think we had some difficulties with YouTube chat, and now uh, yep. we're getting everything. So, okay, sorry okay. about that. Uh, oh, sorry, Bonnie. Uh, I did say, Brian, my bad. Uh, ja just clicked a window just uh, when I was trying to read your name. So, you're right. Um, I read your name wrong. 
All right. Uh, all right. So let's uh, see. I'll just plug the graphics card right in there. Hope you guys can see what I'm doing. Just click. Um, and then, of course, we're going to put the screws in. I'm going to do that from the other side. So I think now you can really see you know, how compact the size is because it's not as broad as the motherboard. Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. But mm. these cards, and I mean, especially the uh, the Arrow ITX uh, is even more, is even smaller, you know. And this case is uh, one of the smaller ones that we have right now. Um, so yeah, and it's easy to fit it in. But I mean, this, this case could easily fit, I think probably maybe even a Gaming X Trio, if you really had to. So, there's plenty of space in this case. Uh, but I'll just quickly put this in, because this is, of course, the boring part for most of you. So just make sure that's tight. And as you can see, it's not going anywhere. Uh, and then, of course, we need to remember to connect the PCIe power cables. Yes. And that, uh, Anthony, there yes, uh, the motherboard is a uh, regular sized uh, motherboard, so ATX. Yeah. Correct. That's uh, that's it. So right now, uh, I'm going to move it under the table again where all the connectors are. Um, and then we're going to fire it up for you guys. Uh, we're not even going to see the mystic light. Um, well, you know, then I'd have to drag all the cables on the table. Such a so shame. Maybe next that. time, boys. We had a stream about Mystic Light, so if you want... Oh boy, RGB, that's, that's, that's more than just Mystic Light. It was like, holy Jesus, Mystic Light. Yeah, that was uh, RGB all the things, and we did RGB all the things. Yeah, I believe Mike had a lot of fun doing that stream. So you, if you guys want to know, you know, just what kind of effects and colors, you know, the, all the technology nowadays are, compa are compatible with, and with each other and what they're capable of it's amazing go check out that stream mike did it like think like two weeks ago or one week yeah i did yeah. together with mike uh, and we also had it uh, responding to like in-game events so that was special as well but i mean it was like really next level rgb I have yeah to say. holy jesus all right so i think <laughs> it's ready to go yes Let's bonnie you can blame me fire it up no problem yes i'll take the full blame <laughs> Jaws used to it by now. Yeah. Um, <laughs> He's growing a thick skin. I okay. have. Ever since I was born. <laughs> you know, I thought you were going to say ever since I, I joined you guys. Oh no. I already <laughs> reached next level before that. Woo. Alright. So uh, I might have to uh, uh, do a few, like a, an, an additional reboot, uh, just to be sure sometimes it can help to avoid any issues. Yeah. Technicalities. Techni yeah. Technicalities. Yes. <clears throat> Let's see. I think. The one of the network cables is not plugged in correctly because I was not getting. There we go. That's yeah. better. You know, I thought I was, I thought it was weird. That I didn't see a few familiar names in the chat before, and now they're like all coming back. Like you know, Benjamin, I'm in the box. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, DK, Nom, the Raiden. Yeah. Anthony. So hey guys, good to see you guys. Okay, so indeed, there's. Uh, yeah. So apparently. YouTube wasn't uh, wasn't no, happening. No, it wasn't correctly uh, being relayed to uh, restream. So, well, that's uh, that's, that's crap. a shame. Yeah. All right. Anyway, uh, uh, I am boxed. By the way, I, I see that uh, YouTube is kind of filtering links and and comments like lol. I can see them, but probably you can't. Um, so it's kind of like pre-selecting them, like uh, being held for review. I think yeah. it's showing. So, but you know, we we don't do active uh, monitoring on here and and reviewing yet so <laughs> anyway yeah, i think um, maybe in the future we'll have mystic light and uh, car lumineers and rgb oh yeah compatibility yeah maybe you never know when you're just sitting in a car with a laptop or even your full setup <laughs> or just your phone yeah did you want to change the color of your car <laughs> oh that that's, that reminds me of uh, Need for Speed Underground back in the yeah, days. With, oh, yeah, you can yeah, tune yeah. the whole car and you know, with the less strips on the on the uh, on the lower part of the car and just fully blow yourself away with RGB. Yeah. Well, those um, were the days. Real Dumps, uh, what mouse are you using? That wireless one. Um, the wireless one. Yeah, I think you are using actually the GM70, which is this one. But I think he means this one. This yeah. is the only one that can be wired. Yes. Yeah. So this one can yeah. actually be used in a wireless uh, fashion. But yeah. right now we're using it uh, with wire. But yes, this one can mm. be used both with and without wire. 
Nice knowledge. This is a GM50, uh, which is a more recent model, only yeah. wired though, uh, and also right-handed. This one is symmetrical, as yeah. you can tell. So you can usually use it both left and right-handed. And usually it has mystical mystic lights. Yeah, um, right now. Nowadays we don't have it on, so I don't know. Yeah. yeah. And I'm using a very simple GM10. Uh, but, you know, later on we're going to be playing some Mortal Kombat 11, but... Mortal Kombat! <laughs> <laughs> you just had to do it, didn't you? <laughs> of course. Uh, but, you know, we're g not going to use mouse and keyboard for that anyway. Because we've got better stuff for that. You know, the button bash. Yes, we're going to do some button bashing. Properties. Exactly, on our uh, Force GC30. Yeah. Ja will be using that. Uh, and Force GC20 controller, which is the wired version. So, uh, yes, more to come later. Exactly. Um, all right, so uh, let's first uh, switch to uh, my PC. Then I can show you guys a little bit about uh, the graphics card as well. So I just put it in, obviously. Uh, here you can also see the full specs, or you could see. Yes. It um, was. No, that's the wrong one. It is. Yes. My bad. Yes. Yeah. So there we go. Um, so as you can see, the case is the Vampiric uh, 010. Uh, CPU is an AMD Ryzen 5 2600 um, and the motherboard the MSI X470 Gaming Pro Carbon AC. Graphics card, uh, of course we're using uh, the <laughs> 1650 Gaming X that we just showed you. Uh, 16 gigs of uh, DDR4 RAM. Uh, we've got a uh, uh, M.2 drive, 500 gigs in there. We installed the game on that, so uh, yeah, the loading times are pretty spicy. And uh, you know, this uh, power supply, 450 watts, it's more than enough, for, especially for this graphics card and this setup. Um, oh, I see we have some big fans. So Keenam is saying, yeah, GC20 and 30. Uh, nice to see. So you, you're already uh, familiar with our controllers. Awesome. And no, uh, YouTube, uh, CJ Bell, YouTube doesn't filter LOL, but it does filter LUL, L-U-L, for some reason. Yeah, I mean, it's so, not, uh, not the know. greatest word in Dutch, but... Probably, <laughs> indeed, maybe it's filtering, because in Dutch, it's like a curse yeah. word. I don't know. And I think, you know, uh, someone's is asking, you know, hey, I have X370 Gaming Pro Carbon, will this be compatible with Ryzen 3000 series? I Ooh. think for anyone, uh, all of you who are interested in this kind of questions, or yes. who own this kind of uh, motherboards, Mike's gonna have a dedicated stream for that to clear all your yes. ambiguities. Yeah. So, so, and he will have uh, an MSI engineer to uh, talk about yeah. the details from, mm. from our end. And a guest, right? But, and, and an AMD guest, indeed, uh, to explain stuff from their end. So, there yeah. you'll have everything uh, that you can uh, possibly exactly. get. So, you'll be able to get your questions. You know, if you have any specific questions, uh, like this specific motherboard and, and why is it yes or no. That kind of questions you should be able to uh, ask during that stream, and these guys should be able to give you uh, answers to to pretty much all your questions. Jesus, this Benjamin is really up to date with our shit. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. We've got a hardcore follower there. Exactly. And I'm proud, man. I'm maybe proud. now we can reward some of you. Yeah, maybe. Another code. Yeah, sure. I mean, so, let's do it. Yeah, and uh, I think it's already been some time, so I hope you guys, if you haven't. Uh, Register yet? Go yes. register because uh, we're gonna pull the second winner, and there's gonna be more to come. So if you haven't yet, go to msi.com/slash/two/slash/insider, uh, or click on the link that Ja posts every now and again in the chat uh, that you will see as being posted by MSI Gaming, um, and then you can uh, have a chance to win a twenty-dollar <coughs> Steam code today. All right. We have the next winner, which is and, uh, he has he has actually been quite active in chat. It's uh, C J Bale. Oh, congratulations to you! Congratulations, C J. Yeah. So I hope you're gonna buy something nice for yourself in Steam, and uh, the Can't rest of you wrong. guys. Can't go wrong with twenty dollars. No, not at all. It's just free. Just come to your wallet for free. Exactly. So go enjoy it. And the rest of you really encourage you to do some uh, actions. And hey, who knows? You're the next winner. Yeah. yeah. All right. So let's get back to this. Uh, just before we go into the game, by the way, guys, uh, I want to uh, highlight to you guys, uh, you can download MSI Afterburner. I just downloaded the latest version as well. Uh, and here you can see, also to prove to you guys I'm not cheating, uh, it's the GTX 1650 in here. Um, but also I wanted to highlight to you guys, uh, this is the, the standard setup. If you just put the GPU in, 
you know, nothing uh, uh, odd about this, uh, st stock clocks and everything like that. Uh, but there's a lot that you can do. One of the things that you should do if you have a, a 10 series card, 16 series cards, or RTX 20 series cards is definitely click the button on the left top, the OC uh, scanner, which opens up this interface, and then you just click scan, and it will find a suitable overclock for your card. Uh, it's free extra performance, uh, it's totally safe. Uh, there's no danger of any warranty being you know any damage whatsoever it's completely safe it's also covered by warranty so no need to be uh, scared to do it and again it's free performance so why not do it yeah. and this is like the updated version right with some new skins yeah, and yeah, stuff. yeah 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 so you might you know you might see that this skin kind of resembles our yeah we should you should cards. put on video guard right now right and just like yeah <laughs> yeah I mean, it, it, it does have some really nice elements and, and shapes yeah. of our graphics i think cards. it definitely looks a lot better than before yeah, yeah, yeah. I really like this skin as well. Um, yeah, so I've done that already. I mean, the OC scanner, you know, it'll take like 10, 15 minutes to do its job. I'm not going to bore you guys with that now. I already did it. That's profile one. And there you can see already uh, some things changed. So uh, core voltage, you know, all those things. I just put it up to max because I don't care. Um, also, you know, the, the power limit and temperature limit is never going to reach 90 degrees. I mean, it's really... I'm yeah. going to have to blowtorch it if, yeah. if I want to reach that temperature. Uh, but the core clock will be set to curve, and the curve is uh, set by the OC scanner process. That only overclocks the, CP, uh, the GPU, by the way. So the memory stays uh, stock speed. So there you can also gain a bit more. So I've already done a second profile there as well, where I overclock the memory with, for example, uh, 774 extra megahertz. And uh, the, which is pretty spicy. And the beauty of the, of uh, Afterburner is that people can break their GPUs, right? So for those who are afraid well, to break if it, if you have an older GPU, you can still break it. So you have to watch really out. Old. But I mean, if you're running a 900 series at least, 900 series GPU from uh, the Nvidia side or newer, and from AMD side, probably from the 200 series, like 2080. Oh, sorry. Um, 280 or 290 you know that kind of uh product uh or graphics card then you probably don't you know it's going to be difficult to break a card um, so any relatively recent card from the past five to six years you'll be fine you know no need to worry about anything uh, and it's all covered by warranty so no and, and it works by the way on both. any card as well so not just msi cards it also works on any of our competitor cards yeah so obviously AMD and Nvidia. Yes, both. Yeah, also. And uh, yes, I am Box. I'm sorry. You are the real MVP for mentioning <laughs> YouTube. You are. Shout out to I am Box. Yeah. If we if you didn't mention it, yeah. then uh, that's, that's got to be better about. than a cookie, right? Yeah. A real yeah. shout out live. Thank you. All right. Um, okay. So uh, I've overclocked it a little bit. Um, what I'll do though is I'll go to the vanilla settings first and um, show you the performance there in the game. I'm also going to grab my controller because I'm going to need it. <coughs> uh, and we're going to see if uh, Jazz controller is also working because he will be it doing... Time. He's got the GC30, which is oh, the wireless one. Fatality. I've got the uh, GC20, yeah. which is the wired version. Um, and we're going to run Afterburner um, in the background which means that you should be able to see the uh, how the graphics card performs in Mortal Kombat 11. Um, and we're going to test and see if the sound is working as well, by the way, because we, we unplugged some stuff, uh, which most of the time means that uh, the settings might be screwed up. So let's see if it's uh, if it's working. By the way, we, we've got some headsets under yeah. the table, right? Let let's me see just if we give can, them right uh, to you. We can. We should be able to hear as this well if it's you. working or not. Here we go. I'm just busy trying to keep up with the chat. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> holy Jesus! You guys are really uh, active today. Oh, I hear some sounds. So that, yeah, me that, too. That, that means that you guys should be able to hear it as well. Press any button. I, I, I don't see the any button here. <laughs> Place mouse on screen. Huh. Is it? Oh, it's registering yours as, uh, as uh, the, Wait, the main I controller, I press think. Press it sooner than you then? 
Uh, I don't know. But yours was already connected, so maybe you are... Uh, it's not working? See. It's not reacting? And we can switch it around? No, no, no. Is it? Yeah, it's... I should, be pr I should press the buttons, but... No? Oh, but it's not responding at the moment. Uh, oh! It wait. was. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, we're gonna have to restart it. Yes! Mortal Kombat! Would be baking cookies with icing in the MSI logo. I bet that would be tasty as hell, man. <laughs> uh, can you scroll down the chat there? there you yeah, go. I'm sorry, you can't eat our shout out. <laughs> it's a mental food. Alright, so it's your own? Yeah. Uh, yes. Nice yes, one. yes, yes. Okay, so it, uh, it, it apparently just uh, took a few seconds for it to start. Okay, well, uh, in the menu, I think this game is actually locked to uh, 60 FPS uh, in, in game um, and then 30 FPS in menus, for example. Uh, but I think we want to look at some, uh, some options here. So just so you guys know uh, what we're doing. Are you holding down something? Where am I? Oh, I'm fixed. Oh, there we go. Um, no, it's still... Wait a minute. What, why is it scrolling down? Something is scrolling. No, 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 no. I mean, in the game. What? I'm not doing anything. <laughs> See, I always get a blame. I think something is feeling a bit. Uh... Yeah, hmm. I mean, we were messing with the controllers before, so. Hmm. All right. We shouldn't have messed well, with it too much. Anyway. Just ignore the scrolling. Yeah. <clears throat> it's a feature. It's not a bug. It's a feature. Definitely. Um, I mean, it does anyway, you. Uh, just to show you the settings uh, here on the right, uh, luckily that's not uh, repeating itself. So texture quality very high, AA mode, uh, TAA, uh, we've got uh, anisotropic, anisotropic filtering, uh, 8 times uh, bloom on, motion blur on, normally I'd turn this off motion blur, but here I'm just going to leave it on. Uh, lighting high, uh, which is the highest setting apparently. Uh, ambient occlusion, ultra, uh, particle density on the highest setting, uh, particles mode obviously, we want to render it on the GPU, and uh, uh, shadow quality on a very high as well. Um, oh, and it kind of stopped. I, uh, I stopped it. Really? Wow. Okay. Um, anyway, so it's basically the highest settings, guys. Uh, that's what I wanted to show you guys. Uh, so you know what you're looking at when you see the, uh, the GPU performance. And uh, in terms of the video, I mean, well, we didn't choose much. HDR is not uh, on, uh, the audio is on normal, so it should all be uh, pretty standard for the rest. Uh, sure, I want to save my settings. I don't know if we changed anything, but let's uh, let's just uh, assume that we didn't. <laughs> okay. Are you, can you, are you still uh, holding in the button? Uh, I'm not. Oh, okay. Well, let's uh, let's just do a fight, and let's just do a, a 1v1. Wow! Are you properly warmed up? Why don't you look on my screen? That might be easier. Are we... Uh... This is weird. What? Did you just exit the game? Wait, aren't you like the main? Well, I host? thought I was. Yeah, maybe. Wait, maybe I'll, I need to disconnect yours first. Yeah, I think you should. <laughs> it's just not happy when two is uh, simultaneously operating. Yeah. Well, we have for full screen turn on, right? Yes, uh, but I could check that in a minute. Benjamin is already saying the come here move from Scorpion. You practice it, right? So I hope you have it nailed oh, down. Oh man, I, I don't I don't even remember it. It's too much to remember. I'm more of a button mash kind of guy. Um, <coughs> let's see if this works. And I think I am the box is trying to be our stream manager. He's trying to give us tips, you know, what kind of tea we should drink during this stream. <laughs> <laughs> the dream team. 
Welcome to join. Mm -hmm. I'll just reconnect my controller, see if that fixes it. Oh, that's better. That's much better. So there might have been a little bit of a glitch in my controller as well. Let's just connect yours. And that should be fine. You all hear, heard the uh, little window sound, didn't you? Um, okay, so fight. Uh, no, I don't want to quit the game. No. Fight. Local. All right. Uh, opponent type. Yes, player two. Um, I don't know. What, what am I going to go for? Uh, maybe something. I, someone I, I didn't play before. I don't know. Maybe you can already choose as well. Do yeah. You, uh, let me join. Oh wait. Let me turn on my controller first. Yeah. All right. So I'll be. Uh, wait. What are you doing? Wait. I think I took over. Ah. <laughs> Why? I just pressed A. Collector. Okay. Press A button. Alright, but I think. Alright. But I. Uh, no, you no, didn't, that's you CPU. Didn't. Wait, 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 yeah, wait. We need to change the player. Yes. Yes. Well, there should be a player. A P yeah, there you go. P2. Finally. I, fi I know what the issue was now. It was displaying the wrong button. When I press B, I joined, and not A okay. or X. Well, you can choose now. I'm definitely gonna go for. Where's my Kang brother? <laughs> Kung Lao? No. Liu Kang? I'm looking for Liu Kang. He's in the middle there. You just yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Too, yes. too, too much. Yeah. Oh, what happened? What, which one did you push? Oh boy. You know, I'm, I'm used to hey. the PlayStation, you know, when a, X and A and stuff like that. This part just, is just means enter. Liu Kang. Yeah. Now you just need to select which one you want to. Hey. All right, uh, th 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 whatever. Let's go to the beast pen. Colosseum beast pen. So, Peter, somebody's interested in the controller. It seems. Did someone type the name of the controller. Oh, I mean, Anthony was already uh, nice enough to do it. Uh, so, I'm using the MSI GC20, which is uh, can only be used with wire, and Jaws using the uh, MSI GC30, which can be used both with and without a wire. So, he's using it wirelessly. And uh, they both have, uh, by the way, rumble uh, mechanics. So maybe uh, I'll, I'll just put it down. Uh, actually, you can't see that, can you? Maybe you can. If you hit me, I think it will start rumbling. Should do. Oh, I love hitting you, so no problem. I'll just keep on going. Yeah. So there's rumble mechanics in there. Actually, I don't feel it right now. But let's uh, see what's uh, going on. Wow. Oh, this guy is uh, like a uh, wrecking ball, man. Okay, I see you're a long fighter, so I gotta Apparently. be an in fighter. So let's do some, some real button bashing right there. Oh, there we go. Or some heads bashing. That would be nice. There we go. Are you on fire? <laughs> oh no! I <laughs> missed it! Woo! Oh, that, was, yeah. that was a good warm up. Round two. Winner decides. Three rounds. Winner decides which controller I buy. Alright, let's see. So you, uh, but are you then going to buy the controller that uh, of the guy who won the game, or? <laughs> okay. This, this guy is actually fun. It's not... I've never played this guy before. He doesn't look like a guy. Uh, well, it, whatever it is. <laughs> oh, 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 dude, 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 dude. <laughs> I'm finally trying some combos. Are you? Same back at you. How about this combo? Oh, that's not good. Nope, nope, that's not yeah. good at all. Fewer's discretion is uh, that's, advised. That's, that's not good. Ow. Nope, that hurts. 
Oh, uh, of course. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! I was waiting right for that back. one. I was waiting for that one. In your face. I don't think I'm gonna make it. Uh, yeah, no, that doesn't look. Well. You have like, you have like, five percent, not even one percent health left. I'm just gonna really? finish you off like that. <laughs> I don't know any of the finishing moves. <laughs> you have a chance to do a fatality. The winner controller is the one to buy. Well, Dikin, I'm honestly, um, I'm, I'm maybe just more of a button basher than. Than Jai is, but uh, <laughs> if you want to know, I was using the GC. I tried. Yeah. I tried to methodical about this, but it doesn't really, really always work. Yeah, out. we didn't do our homework because you can like. Okay, let's. let's do you want to select different fighters? Yes. All right. For the next game, let's just. Uh, you need to uh, select that as well. No, I'm actually gonna play with a with a character that I know. Yeah, because you, you can get like a full list of all the moves and you know, you can do all the combinations and it's, we didn't have time to do that. I mean, the game released yesterday, uh, yeah. we, 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 the first time we played it was today. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, and we actually do some work here, you know, so... Yeah, we also need to do some work indeed, so it's, yeah, yeah you know, we didn't have time to play that much. Uh, I think, was Garrus was new? Or who was new in this game? Who? Yeah, no, who was new? Like, or there are a lot of them that are I new. Know, I know, Yeah. Wait, did you have V-Sync on? Turn on? Uh, I think so, yeah. I think it's automatically turned on. <clears throat> Why? Uh, because chat is noticing it, so uh, I'll well, just make sure. Can... Let's, let's try that then. Uh, options. Video. Uh, graphics, I mean. Uh, no, if yeah, somebody's asking about okay. a monitor, uh, well... This is the monitor we're playing on, you know, this is our most premium model. Uh, yep. the MP from our MPT series with Steel Series games in, in front because why I'm mentioning this is because a lot of people are talking about this because it's kind of new because you actually have some light uh, LED strip bars in the front of your monitor yep. and they actually have purpose so they can indicate what's happening in game so if your health is low if you're doing some special attacks uh, stuff like that so that's really something that you might want to check out yeah. But it's so this is our MPG 27 CQ. Exactly. But it's based on uh, SteelSeries GameSense, so it's a, a basically a partner partnership with uh, SteelSeries about that. So the the, the SteelSeries software uh, or SteelSeries GameSense feature needs yeah. to be supported in the game. So it's it you know or, or in the software because it also works with, for example, Discord. Um, but not all games support it. So if you want to use it, make sure you do a bit of homework. Um, and, and find out which ones are supported. Uh, just to prevent to be disappointed. Cetrion. I don't know who Cetrion is. She's new. Yeah, apparently, yeah. Oh, oh this that's looks better. Nice. That's yes, that's better. We don't like green. Ah, wow, well, you know. Seaweed. Uh, <laughs> oh, on a let's fight on a ship. Caron's ship. All right, so, Anthony, just for you, we also turned uh, V-Sync off. Um, let's see if you notice a difference. I think it's still the game is still locked on uh, 60 FPS though. So Sa Samus Zero, yes, uh, I think the game is uh, capped to 60 FPS. Round one, fight. Ready. Huh. In your face! <laughs> You're throwing stuff at me now. Oh, you guys might be thinking, hey, but you're hitting a woman. Uh, a video game, no, that's okay. I'm not sure it's a, it's a woman. Yeah, I'm not sure either, actually. <laughs> it's something. He has tentacles. I'm not sure I'm happy. Well, I'm on a ship, so uh, that should like give me an, an advantage, shouldn't it? Because I'm like... Oh, already? Oh, yeah. Get some. Ooh, <clears> nice. <throat> Hello. It's not gonna this do. Is, this is like what the hell? Yeah, but it's not gonna do shit because I'm standing right up, like nothing happened. Yeah, man. So eat that. You? Oh my god! You didn't just stop it, did you? Oh, did I? Yeah. Just oh. Okay. Well, it didn't help. Uh, V-Sync was on, yeah. I mean, for, for games like this, uh, Dollmaster, it really doesn't seem to matter, especially because this game is capped on 60 FPS in the first place. What you can see here, by the way, GPU, uh, we're in the game, in the middle of the game. Uh, it's only uh, on 57 degrees. 
So that means that probably the fans aren't even spinning. Um, and also, we're only utilizing about, well, not even 70% of the GPU uh, power. This is uh, 1080p, so it's full HD. But, you know, as you can see, there is, uh, yeah, there's plenty of GPU power for this. And we're just on a full 60 FPS. So. Oh. I like how my head just magically comes back on my head. Uh -huh. Ooh. No. I'm so bad at this. I'm, I'm pretty sure if, if some of you guys are good at this game, actually, you'll be like cringing right now. Like, do this combo, man. This, this, you can finish them off easily. Dude, we both have no idea what we're doing. No, that's true. We're just bust, button bashing both of us. Yeah, it seems like you're bashing them really good right now. Well, you know, somebody has to do it. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't do it. No, 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 no. That's just, mm. that's just rude. <clears throat> I mean, this you is were what just, we're playing for. You were just waiting for me to, to like, you know, walk <laughs> into that. Didn't you? Well, you got me. Yeah. Oh, but, uh... Now comes the hard part. <laughs> really? You're just gonna kick me in the face and that's it? I really don't like your face. You really know how to treat a lady. Yes. <laughs> Imagine that. Yeah. Is his hat attached to his head? I don't know. I don't think so. He can throw he can take it off and he can throw it, right? Your yeah. character. Yeah. It's uh it's like a flying desk. So you know Asians, you know, they make everything a weapon. So everything. Yeah. Chopsticks. Even job deadly, sticks. very deadly. Uh, is that 75 degrees at 100% fan speed? No, uh, maybe I can actually uh, include that. Let's see if we can. Uh, let's see if we can get that. There we go. So we can show. Uh, we should be able to show um, mm, 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 like things like fan speed, maybe fan speed. Uh, so let's see. Show. Let's just put it in text. Uh, I don't know if, if we can do the, the speed, but let's let's give it a go. Um, then you should be able to see the fan speed uh, in real life uh, or in real time in, on the screen. Uh, let's see. Oh crap! All right. Well, it, it kind of extends the things. The the the. Oh well, doesn't matter. The the graph a little bit, but you know, um, yeah. So you can see zero percent right now and zero RPM. So the fans are actually not on. Um, so let's uh, let's pick some other characters and see what happens when we play again. Um, mm -hmm. Hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I want to do with Jax mm -hmm. or Kano. Sorry, Jax. Mm -hmm. I'll uh, I'll do Kano. Aaron back. It is. Uh, yeah, you need to do the second part as well. There you go. Uh, yeah. The lost hive of the lost hive of the so now you can see uh, Iron Box was asking for that. Uh, he was asking, is this uh, the temperature at uh, zero, or sorry, at, at full fan speed, you know, at 100% fan speed, or is this um, not, uh, are the fans not spinning? So here you can see on the right side, you can see, uh, see the fans just started spinning up right now, a little bit. Because we just get, went over uh, 60 uh, FPS. I'm sorry, 60 degrees. Um, and I think that's the trigger when the fan starts spinning. So now the fans are start spinning at 40%, uh, which still, we don't hear it. So. And then the temperature should start dropping too. Are you, uh, are you drawing your weapon? <laughs> I don't know, actually. Let's see. This could be oh. like. This could. I was doing some Fortnite dance, man. <laughs> oh my god. Or this could be a new Fortnite well, dance. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. <laughs> okay, alright. That's enough Fortnite. Oh, what's that? <clears throat> Dude! I'm gonna suppose it was poison. And this guy also has a dynamite, so that's nice. Oh, stop it. I just wanna. I just wanna. Oh, come on. My face is already bad, you know. No need to ruin it even more. Oh my god. Ouch. Ouch. 
Hello! That's a nice headbutt. Oh, <laughs> Sucker move. <laughs> Sucker why move. Keep, why do you keep doing that? Oh. Yeah, it, it's that time again. It, it's, yeah. it's that time again. You're using me as a ladder, man. Come oh. on, show some respect. Oh! oh. Right in the throat! <laughs> How's that? How's oh, that staff feel? Well, not very good, I have to tell you. Oof. Ow! I think oh, yours would look no. a lot more painful. Oh, okay, never no. mind. That was a close game. That was like a, that was even better than that 360 no scope. Yeah, like you know, coins in the air and then. I'm not sure how the physics there work, but I, I don't know. I don't know if it was real time ray traced. I don't think so. It makes sense. <laughs> that makes sense. Uh, what else can we do? So that? have wow some dynamite shit. Was that? No, I think it was like more that, like a Molotov. Yeah, cocktail. yeah. Looked like it. I just saw some fire. Oh. oh, there he goes again. <laughs> Where did the dynamite go, actually? <clears throat> right behind you. But I didn't see any explosion or anything like that. Ouch. Hello. <laughs> oh, I didn't do the special attack. I, I didn't even see, like, uh, the f you know, fatal attack or something like that. Didn't come up. Yeah, there's tearing going on. Yeah, see, there's... there's uh, uh, maybe I can turn the... Let's see if I... No, actually, I don't... I think I have to go back to the main menu. So, I'll, um, I'll turn the... Um, V-Sync back on again. Because again, you know, in a game like this, actually V-Sync is not a bad thing. As long as you can um, stably reach the number of FPS that it's trying to do, in this case 60 FPS, easy for the 6050 yeah. GPU. And yeah, Chris, we do have a giveaway. So uh, let me just uh, post the link right here. Yep. So if you guys just enter this link, uh, you can uh, participate in the giveaway. And Nom is keeping score for us. <laughs> so nice. he's saying this is the decider match. Good, All right. good, good. good. So uh, let's see. Right. Wait, the loser will arrange lunch for the whole department tomorrow, right? Oh my god. I don't know <coughs> if, if, who, who agreed to that. I think I think Michael uh, are we, are we Mike gonna, agreed to that. I'm pretty off? sure he even volunteered like, hey, no matter who loses, you know, he's gonna buy lunch for the entire company. Yeah, pro I think so. Yeah, Mike it's, is just a generous it, guy. It so. sounds like him. It's, it's like so like him to do that. Yep. character is not doing what I want him to do. What do you want him to do? Like kick your ass. Die. <laughs> oh, you missed dynamite. Oh, here he goes. Yeah, with the, with the drink. I'm, I'm gonna straight up button bash him now. <laughs> I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna... Whoa! See? What the hell? What? That cost this? me like half my uh, health bar. Uh, this is like... Wait, Wait what? what the hell? What happened? I have no idea. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, no. What happened? I don't know. My health bar was full, then you gave me a headbutt, and then I lost half my health, health bar, yeah. and then it was just finish him. <laughs> yeah. Rigged game, man. Rigged. <laughs> I don't know. I was well, like, what the hell is this? I'm gonna need a referee for this one. <laughs> Can we have an instant replay, guys? What was that? <laughs> no idea. Oh. You guys have any idea what just happened? Yeah. Let's see. I don't hmm. think anybody. Wait, let's knows. go back to the main menu and get rid of the tearing, shall we? Oh, that sounds like a good idea. Yeah. Maybe that was the issue. All right, but you know, for just so you guys can see as well, for uh, Mortal Kombat 11, uh, the game that came out just yesterday, um, the 1650 at full HD, everything on the highest settings, by the way, keep that in mind, it's running just fine. Uh, 60 FPS, no problem. Uh, it, it just barely gets to the point above 60 degrees sometimes uh, where the fans actually need to start spinning. That's how good uh, the, the cooling on this card is. Uh, and we haven't even... I actually didn't 
use the uh, overclock profile on Afterburner. If oh, you remember. Jack is asking what game you know, what game this is. This is uh, Mortal Kombat. Yeah, so Mortal Kombat 11. Uh, let's see. Vsync on. There we go. Except. Yes. So everything else here is on high, and I mean, even if it says very high, I checked. This is the highest setting, so. Um, let's see. Fight. Local. Surprise, it's not running DX12. Yeah, I was as well. Uh, but you have to remember, games like this uh, will be in development for, well, could be years even. Um, so, while for most of us, DirectX 12 is already like, wow, well, it's been around for years as well. Yeah. Could be that for them, um, it's even further back in that Yeah, time. when they started development on this game, either it, it, it wasn't available yet, or maybe the support wasn't great yet, or something like this. So you'll see more and more games uh, towards the future using DirectX 12. Maybe there'll be a patch at some point that you can choose if you want to run it in DX11 or DirectX 12 mode. Um, but, you know, for now, um, this is what it is. Wow, what is this? Oh, oh, you have to unlock. Ah, I see. Okay. Wait, this uh, just one character? Yes, yeah, you have to un unlock this one character. I read about this. Yeah, you can you can buy it in the store, or you can just play through the campaign, and then you it. can. Well, yeah. Well, obviously nowadays. Yeah. Surprising, right? Very surprising. Uh, who did? Who else didn't I play before? Devora, or oh, go for Kodalka. Okay, guys, time to place your bets. Who's gonna win? Take the scorpion and go for the I'm special combo. I I'm would if I knew the special combo. I'm supposed to fight a giant sword? I have no idea. Well, you've got ice axes, so you know. You could do worse. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> well, I guess I'll just freeze you uh, to death. I see frames dropping to below 30 FPS on the character screen. Yeah, that's that's right, but that's in the uh, menu. And menu only, yeah. In the menu, uh, and, and in cutscenes like here, you can still see it's like 30, it's limited th to 30 FPS or it will even drop down lower. Uh, but in the game itself, when you're playing, it should never go below 60s. Oh. Hello. <laughs> style again. Oh, see, N now I get like the special skills that I could never Jesus. do. <coughs> oh, no, 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 no. Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately, you're not gonna die from that. What do you mean, unfortunately? Very unfortunately. No, that's unfortunate me. Oh, you just used it and you missed it. <laughs> oh, I didn't, I don't know if I actually did get to use it. No, not sure. there was the <laughs> and you closed it. Oh, okay. Money on Peter. Well, I'm sorry, Box, I lost you your money. That was pure luck. No, no guarantees. Let's uh, let's do this. Oh, dude. Well, now, it's, now there's money involved. Oh, what's going on? Uh. Ow. <laughs> that looked more painful than it actually was in your HP bar. Ouch. Yeah, I mean, compared to the headbutt, <laughs> this is nothing. I'm losing this again, aren't I? Oh, yeah, well, of course. Let's, uh, let's do a special move. Oh, this looks painful. I mean, the sword is Ooh. as big as my body. Hello! Where did that statue come from? <laughs> Magic. Yeah, I guess so. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. No, you come on. Come on. <laughs> you want some? Mid air. Oh, it was 
was so close. <laughs> At least they use Sub Zero and Scorpion, still the best. Yeah. All right, we'll do that after this. <laughs> Betting for Jachi. <laughs> Even writing my full name. Yeah, man, it's like 50-50 uh, right there. The key combo, Jesus! <laughs> Somebody's giving us combos. Oh my God, I don't know how to do that. And the keyboard? Well, we're not using keyboards, dude. Uh, my dude, we are using uh, controllers. So you wanna you wanna get this party started? Hell yeah. I think I found out about a few new tricks. Have you? Yeah. Oh. I don't even know what the hell that was the, the, that was doing. Oh, oh. If, I, if I stand in it, I'll uh, see. Yeah, yeah. Burn. I just <laughs> that, was, that was hilarious, look at that! <laughs> Dude, that's a sword, that's not yeah, a chainsaw. He's, well, he's doing like a saw motion, so it's like you're a tree. Hello! I don't know how to finish you, but I'll give Wait, a Wait, well, that was one combo? Yeah. Kodokan wins! Oh, uh, Kisama ka! Booyah! You turned into a cat? Yeah, apparently. Or is that a jinx? I have no idea. I Looks uh, very cute. <laughs> a kitty cat. Yes. All right. So, uh, spoof pass and uh, an iron box. Yeah. <clears throat> you you win. Well, well, well. It's a close well, match, well. though. It's a close match. We're both, like, really bad. <laughs> <laughs> we're equally, we're not, we're we're equally gonna, skilled. We're going to bullshit you guys. You know, we're not that good at this game. But it, even though... You know, we're both bad at it. You can see, you know, I, I love this, like, old-school multiplayer, you know? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Now, in my memory, you know, back in the days when brothers used to play these kind of games, you know, somebody always ran away crying. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you you want to try? <laughs> maybe, if uh, if I get to uh, maybe you, make someone happy. You want to see if we can end the stream with some tears? <clears throat> <laughs> it's not going to be mine. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Fighting words. Fighting yeah. words. And I hope you guys uh, really uh, went to the giveaway link hmm. because I think it's time again for another winner. Yep. Yeah, so who that. is up for the twenty dollar Steam code? Wait. So if you guys still don't know about the giveaway, if yep. you have just joined, just go to the link. Go to emberside.com slash two slash insider um, and then follow the link that says giveaway. Uh, you'll have to do some things like uh, subscribe to our channel. If you have yeah. done that already, then it's very easy. You'll uh, enter the giveaway instantaneously. And the more actions you perform, the higher your chance will be to at winning. Win. <sighs> Try oh, well, your luck. Look at this. There's, uh, well, we have a winner. And once again, <laughs> it's someone that's actually been very active. In the chat. Yeah, exactly. Nice. Actually, I think you're talking right, right at this moment. Uh -oh. <laughs> so, I am Box. I am Congratulations Box. to you. And guys, maybe you need to change your your name to I am Winner now. Exactly. And uh, for those of you guys think that it's biased or it's rigged, we have absolutely no control over this. Nope. You know, we just press a button and it just selects randomly yep. in a pool of people. So yes. it's a we script. can't influence this. It's a script. Exactly. So, so have fun, I am Box. And uh, the rest of you, there's still more to come. So exactly, go to the link. Yeah, and good luck. Maybe we can do one more game. Is there a way to do? Uh, I don't think you can do cooperative, right? No. In this game, mm. I don't know. Or is that like a campaign thing that you can do with two two people? Should we check it out? We can try. If chat, if you guys know this, um, is there a way that we can play cooperative instead of just versus each other? Let's go back to the main menu first. And then check it out. <laughs> oh wait, that's me! <laughs> yes, I am Box. That is you. Uh, let's see. Play story mode, towers. I, don't, I have no idea. Crypt. Can you 
do this with more than one person. Challenging towers, classic towers. Giving the 2070 away will be epic. Yeah, you know what else will be epic? <laughs> For me to receive one. <laughs> so, uh, I'm way up in the line than you. Oof. If that's ever gonna happen. Oh, so, oh, wait, so you need to, like, what is this? Completion rewards, okay. I was gonna check, maybe the lowest tower. I actually have no idea if you can battle against five opponents, eight. Novice, well, uh, I kind of am, I guess. Can you try and see if you can enter as well? Yeah, let me try. Scorpion. Wait, no, I'm controlling yours. Yeah, uh, no, no you just, entering. okay. Doubt it has like a tag team type match. Yeah, Anthony, that's uh, cooperative. Once you smack each other. <laughs> Uh, all right, well, fair enough. <laughs> no, that's bitch slapping. That's yeah, that's also slapping, right? I don't think that's Mortal Kombat material. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> they they want to see blood and bones breaking and stuff like that. All right, so uh, yeah, then I guess AI fighter on off. Is that? I mean, you can still try it out. It might be interesting. Well, yeah, but it's it's boring if it's just me. So I'm gonna pass. Well, I'll just have some great chats. Guys in the chat, if you know that there's a way that we can play cooperatively instead of uh, only versus each other, then let us know. What the hell is a crypt? I think this is one of the new things as well, right? They added some pretty cool new stuff in here, though. Excellent, excellent visuals. Yes. Crypt. Have you watched the Mortal Kombat movie? Oh, I love those. Those, I mean, they were that they were so bad, but they were so good. <laughs> oh man, man, what year was that? Like uh, five, to six, seven years ago, or something? Uh, no, longer. Longer. The first ones. Hey, look, there's you. I am oh, hey. <laughs> Have you guys seen the cover? Ah, oh, from the key visual. Yeah, that's Ja, right there. You, you know, that's how he's gonna look in the future. If I can grow that the kind of epic beard, I'll be so damn happy. <laughs> I mean, look at this. Look at this. There's not much to speak of. Not really, no. Is there uh, maybe there's a like loud sound as well? I actually. Yeah, there there is. <laughs> put my ears out. Oh wait. Oh wait. It, you can actually play this like in a story kind of mode. I guess yeah. They, I, that's why I saw some new stuff. But I think this is like uh, you got some. Uh, what is this? Oh, this is this is new. Yeah. Oh. Guys, you can walk around with Mortal Kombat. What's this? What I get? Who would have thought? Uh, oh yeah, I think you get like scares as well. So I, item unlock. Okay, that's nice. I I, I get a hundred hearts and fifty thousand coins. Well, somebody. I, I, I have no idea if that's good or not. <clears throat> I'm gonna go with it's awesome, Damn. but I think you can also get like. Okay, so that's good. I also saw somewhere that you can get like uh, killed when you open one of these. That there's something just jump out and just you know kill you, and it says you died. Really? Just like in one blow? Uh, yeah, I think so. Oh, oh, this actually get takes money apparently. Oh, nice. <coughs> okay. So oh, guys, I'm, I'm discovering this with you live. I, I never saw this before. Yeah. I have no idea what this is. Uh, okay, I guess I have to go the other way. So this looks uh, interesting. 6,000. Well, I've got like over 100k of credits, so let's uh, see. Ow! This looks very interesting. This is uh, not too shabby. <clears> okay, <throat> guys, so do you want... <laughs> I'm surprised you guessed my age. Plasma-infused death rocket. That sounds very deadly and interesting. Wow. And I have no idea what you just said. Yeah, me neither. I'm just reading what's on the screen. <laughs> I, I, I I, quite literally have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> I like how you how you so aggressively I'm, I'm so excited chest. about it though it's like yeah this must be good <laughs> I have no idea <laughs> I mean this feels like a hopper a 
box opening game. Yeah, it's like a, a unboxing, like a loot box. I mean, every type of thing. one meter there's a box. I know, yeah. It's meant to be like this, right? This is like, it should feel rewarding and stuff. What do we get? Oh, Kano, some collector art and stuff. Okay, okay, fair enough. I'll, I'll try and go through it a bit faster, maybe. Yeah. What do we get? Oh, Demoralizer, Skeleton Key. I still have no idea. Is this like consumables or, or uh, <laughs> what is it? Like skins you can you can apply? Asking the real questions. Character art. So I guess this is somewhere it will appear, and you can. Oh, and did we have the 2070 here? Yeah, we did. Ah, okay, so we can show you that. <coughs> Somebody is asking so nicely before ending the stream if we can hold the 60, uh, 1650 and 2070 next to each other. Hmm. So oh wow! Okay, so I have a hammer now. That's nice. I can, I can. It's it's hammer time apparently. Dead pando. <laughs> <coughs> Easy to the on the unboxing of box. Yeah, I'm sorry. Kano's secret weapon. That's nice. I get Kano's secret weapon. I have oh, no idea I can't what take you to lunch. I am box. I mean, you can just turn out to be like a 12 years old boy. Somewhere. I am. I so am unbox. Did I did I say that correctly? Did I make a funny? Oh damn! It took me a while. <laughs> did I did I do that correctly? <coughs> was it was it as bad as I intended it to be? We shall see. <laughs> well, apparently comes. this is thirty FPS locked as well. Yeah. Oh, crispy, crispy. I don't know well, if you actually get that sound effect in the game. We have quite a few people who uh, know about the movie. It was in 1995. Oh, smash stuff. I wasn't aware there were multiple movies. Because I'm not aware of the first one. Oh, look at that. I can actually go through here. What the hell? Oh, more boxes. Oh, oh, yeah. Yay. What the hell? So this is like just... They should, should have called this box mode or something like that. I, there's like so many boxes here. Is this Hammer time. The, dun, 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 dun. Oh, there's something. Oh, that doesn't work. But so interesting. Interestingly, the game has locked the FPS at 30. Yeah, yeah. Because this apparently isn't like a, an exciting part where you do a lot of fighting, or at least it doesn't seem to be. Maybe I can. No, not the gong doesn't work. Okay. Well. Uh, thanks for the earworm, Hammer Time. You're welcome. <laughs> oh man, I. How far have you come? Uh, too far. Way too far. What the? What the? What the? What the? Time Vault. Replenish the. Oh, okay. So yeah. All right. So this is probably smack. I it. think this is. Well, no, no, no. You have to. Uh, it's like you can replenish. So basically, this is like a free loot thing or something, I guess. And and every now and again, it will be refreshed or replenished. So you get new, you can loot new stuff or something like that. But this looks like it's pretty broken. There we go. So the, oh, there's more. Yay. This one looks very, very important. Uh, yeah. It, it but you can't open it yet. Doesn't seem to be available now. <laughs> Maybe if I smack it. Oh, there we go. Oh, you actually had to smack, smack it, yeah. And then there's like you have to unlock it. With ah, hearts you need or something. You need 23 more hearts. Uh, oh yeah. Okay. Fair enough. So I think you just have to open more boxes. <laughs> Oh. Open a lot of boxes to open even more boxes. I, I, oh no. Uh oh. What did I do? Is this bad? It feels like the kind of end boss kind of yeah. vibes. Uh, it, it does, it does give you that chill. So it? it looks like you're gonna get your ass kicked. All right, let's let's see if we can do that. Why do we get so much stuff here? What is this? Like, I have no idea. A dedicated. Comment reader just Hello. cross now. Yeah, uh, yeah. I see. Oh my! So they they just made a game mode just out of like unboxing and and loot boxes, I guess. It's uh, on 1080p and uh, everything maxed out on ultra, right? Correct. Yes, that's correct. Yeah. yeah. I, I feel like I should game, go yeah. back. Well, at the moment, yeah. I think. Um, <coughs> Maybe I should try and go for that door that I just opened. Let's see what happens then. Probably it's just like exit. I don't know. Oh. I, I hear somebody being in pain. 
Oh, there, yeah. Something's be moving. Yeah, in front of me. No, but that's, that's a bird. bird. <laughs> um, okay. Because well, bird that? is the word. <laughs> I wasn't going to mention it. Is that a bird? Bear. 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 Is, it, is, it, is it here? Do I need to go here? Probably. I mean, you opened the door, so I guess... <laughs> you're going to fight someone now. Uh, well, I hope it's time for some action. I hope your fingers are warmed up. Oh, it's, it's trying to explain something like how the game works, but it's, I'm not listening, so it's kind of like, I don't know. As a kid, I tried to oh. replicate Lucan's bicycle kick. <laughs> I still do it. I still do it, man. No I shame in that. Alright, that's, that's fair enough. Uh, yeah, maybe, probably I should just go back to... Uh, well, to sounds like very important, DK num. Better get some rest then, huh? Yeah. Alright, so time to do some more fighting, because I'm, I'm tired of doing unboxing. 30 FPS gore game, yeah, it's, yeah. 30 FPS in and of itself is kind of gory, you know? It's, should, should come with a warning that's, you know, bad for your eyes. Somebody is saying, well, nice, I have the RTX 2070 Strix for gaming. Hmm, what do we think about that? <laughs> Well, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's, nope. it's, it's 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 nice, I guess, but you know, it's if you're into that kind of thing, <coughs> yeah. Mm. But uh, yeah, I mean, we we've got a, a, a 1070 <coughs> right there, so yeah, it's uh, pretty pretty nice, pretty spicy as well. It's got one less fan, but uh, performs just as well, if not better. You want to choose a character? Yes, I think. Uh, All right, maybe last game. And then, um, really, you don't want any more ass whooping? No, I'm, I'm yeah. Just All right, qu then. quit while you're ahead. All right, guys, last time to place your bets. Keenum, thank you for joining. We'll see you uh, next time. Yeah, have a good have night. Good night, man. Um, oh wait, yeah, are you? Mm -hmm. Okay, there you go. Mm -hmm. nice. So uh, maybe because somebody asked to do uh, Scorpion versus uh, Sub Zero, right, or something like that. So if you can Correct. Do Correct. Yeah. So let's go for that. Right. Sometimes it feels like we have no control over our stream. No, no, you, you guys, you know, when, when you guys ask for it, we, we kind of just have to do it. This but, is the uh, fight. This is, this is it. We've all been waiting for it. Ice ball! Shit. Ice ball! No, that's hammer. Ice ball! I'm, I'm Ice ball! <laughs> Do the thing! Do the thing! Do the thing! That's that's a kick to the face. That's a, that's a kick to the nuts. Yeah, that's just fine. Whoa! Hello! Ah, you broke my knee. Oh, that's no problem. You're the Ice Man, right? Ow! You broke my so face. I break your jaw. Oh, I finally did the ice ball. Oh, nice. Oh, nice, oh, nice. You keep doing it. <laughs> You're like one of those guys who, who in what's that other game called? With uh, Ryujo or something like that, and he, he keeps doing the Hadouken. Oh, no! <laughs> no! I, I even jumped away, man. This oh. also hurts. Yep. Oh, Always expect the expected. <laughs> Always expect the expected. Yeah, this was expected. Oh. Okay. Woo. Okay. Time time to end this man. Time for button bashing. Whoa. <laughs> okay. That's somebody's that's, cheating. That's button bashing for you. Do you see that I broke the law of physics? I'm like legit button mashing right now. Freeze! Ah, missed it. No! <laughs> this is 
like button bashing at its worst. <laughs> Broke through my attack. Easy. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, guys, let's see if you're gonna win some money. Well, Iron Box says I have to win this round. I know. So I'm gonna freeze oh! you. Freeze. blocking oh come on no <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was doing so well with so little health well good game oh, Peter good game button bashing wins, game, the, wins the game guys Shit happens. I'm sorry. <laughs> you lost your money. Yes. Notice it's much quieter during the fight, so it must be good entertainment. <laughs> you mean that was some real yes. focus right there? Yeah, man. This is like you know some serious, serious competition right here. Sonic Boom. I'm pretty sure that's Street Fighter. So. <laughs> yes. Well, yeah. I, I mentioned it. You know, it's a Hadouken. Well. Anyway. I guess you're pretty good at this game, Peter. I'm pretty good at but button bashing, maybe. Yeah, that's that. That might be true. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, a little bit random. Anyway, um, yeah. Thank you guys for joining. Uh, I don't. Do we have? Uh, you wanna highlight what we're gonna do next week? Yes, I do. Sure. All right then. Uh, so, guys. Next week, uh, Mike has a, a very exciting stream. So he's going to uh, talk to both AMD and one of our uh, engineers from our headquarters in Taiwan. Uh, we're going to talk about AMD, the 50th anniversary. So there's all kinds of stuff coming because they're celebrating 50 years of it's their existence. Be some surprises. Exactly. Um, and also, the big hot topic, of course, AM4 next gen CPU support. So. Um, if you have any questions or things you want to feedback or whatever, make sure you join that stream next week uh, because Mike will be able to give you all the answers. And if he can't do it, the guys from AMD or our uh, engineers from HQ will be able to do yeah. it. So even then, you know, they're going to watch the chat and you can fire all your questions. Exactly. And uh, well, you saw the stream. Uh, we demonstrated the performance of the GTX 1650 gaming X card um, again. Mortal Kombat 11, easy peasy. So, uh, yeah. It's a pretty good card for uh, Full HD, I would say. Alright, so thank you guys for joining. Uh, congratulations to the winners. Yeah. And uh, we'll see you guys next week. Yeah, thanks for your time. Peter and Ja, out. Cheers. <laughs>